And we're back. After yesterday's feature race, the top eight drivers have been reversed on the grid, setting up some exciting action as we launch into today's event, the sprint race. I'm not the only one sitting here today who's looking forward to today's race. My friend and XGP2 champion Davide Valsecchi next to me is already on the edge of his seat awaiting the start of the event. How's it going today? Hello there, Alex. I'm great, thank you. And very excited to get started. I have a feeling we are in for a very special event today. OK, the run into turn one isn't too long, so the pack will be bunched up. Take care.
last this lap of the race, keep this up. effort there from Prima to take the victory today. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Simply, they are just a better driver in the way. Here in Formula 2, we know the car are the same, so it's not down to machinery. They can just handle the weather better than everyone else. I mean, they can have the throttle open longer, they can push more, break later, and are able to handle it all. They make it look like they have a much faster car, but it's a pure skill behind the wheel. Really incredible drive. It looks like it's time for the victory ceremony once again, as I can see the drivers beginning to make their way out for the celebrations. You can see it on their faces. It's another marvelous team win for Prima today. And now, let's take a look at the driver's stand. It's a good result for George Russell, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? I have to give it to Roberto Meri, was probably one of his best driver of the season, and they was very impressed. And now a look at the team standards. ART have extended their lead over the championship. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment when Formula 2 returns.